Santos. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you. Shata Karaba Katasunto Robosita Ramandehe Zute Kaburi Abranda Kadasaita Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you. Le Baroba Suta Meta Kiza Tora Mandeke Ezuri Ambra Katu Saita Handele in the name of Jesus. See Karabusta. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord. We exalt you. We magnify your holy name. She Karabatata Santoria. Zite Kato Sorobo. Jisti Koreamba Katakana Santa. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah be to your holy name. Great is Jehovah. Lambora Besti. Suta Baranda Kataya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you so much. We want to bless you. We want to give you praise, honor, and adoration for this day that you've made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Coming before your presence once again in prayer. Lord, we pray for that your presence will be with us. We pray that you will minister to us individually. We pray and decree and declare. Open heavens over this broadcast and over the lives of your people as many that are connected. We thank you, Father, and we bless you. We give you praise and we give you honor and adoration, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah be to your name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God declares that this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, we want to welcome you to the Breakthrough Prayer Conference. It's a wonderful time to be in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want to say welcome to everyone. And we want to encourage everyone, wherever you are, we want you to share this um, broadcast with your friends, your neighbors. And at the same time, invite as many as you can to join us at this hour as we all gather in his presence. Hallelujah. As we gather in his presence to enjoy the presence of the Lord. He is awesome. He is mighty and he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 We give God all the praise and all the glory. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. So this is the breakthrough prayer conference you are most welcome hallelujah you are welcome thank you father we once again want to say thank you for this opportunity hallelujah today we want to discuss about something very important and we pray because um many people have not um, come to realization of um some happenings and uh, some certain things that take place because everything around them is good they pray, they do everything, but it's like some certain things go against them that they have not known. Hallelujah. And um, this is very, very important. And that's what we want to discuss about. It's in the area connected with uh, the power and the effect of music. Hallelujah. Music has great effect on the human body. God created music. Therefore, music is a spiritual substance and it's of a spiritual matter. And its effect, it, it, it affects the soul, the spirit, and the body of the human. So we have to understand what music can do. Because we have types of music, and we have to know as a child of God, the type of music you need to listen, and the effect and other things that are connected with you. When you are aware and you know, you will, um, you will make yourself, select, uh, what you call, you select the, 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 the type of music that is connected with your faith that will help you hallelujah so uh let us go through a few things about music as we all know we, everybody know about what music is and when the music is being played uh because something uh manipulate our system which causes us to respond to its effect or its rhythm 
either you'll be tapping your leg or your head or something like that. So music is an arrangement of sound having melody written, usually uh, harmony, classical music, for example. So it's the art of producing pleasing or expressive combination of tones, especially with melody, rhythm, and usual harmony, as I've said. These are the definitions of music. There is power in music in the sense that it can affect, it has something to do with the soul. It's a research findings has demonstrated that um, music supports our physical, mental, and emotional health. It can also help regulate our emotions, improving our mood, and enhancing productivity and concentration. It can also help us to have a better sleep. That is some of the research. So what actually happens? He says that there's a release of um, endorphins. It's also thought to be one of the reasons music is emotionally powerful. Endorphins are hormones that are released by the brain in response to pain or stress. Hallelujah. So we'll let us look at uh, endorphins as we are describing this. Endorphins come from the word endogenous, which means within the body and morphine, an opiate pain reliever. So put together these two meanings that comes to uh, that means endorphins are natural pain relievers. So it is something natural within the body that relieves pains. So they, they are chemicals because they can make you feel better and put you in a positive state of mind. And some people put it a feel good chemical. That's what normally they put it. So music can control the mind. One of the things that we also have to understand, it can control the mind. Scientists have discovered that um, uh, what the M uh, MRI brain imaging have found, the music activates every part of our brain, including the parts responsible for our emotions, creativity, motor skills. It can also affect our blood pressure, heart rate, and hormones. So music is fully body-spirit experience, and we have to understand what it does. That is why when a music is being played, you can see a person shaking his body, shaking some because it affects your complete body. That affects also your soul, and it's able to impact or do some certain things about your whole being. And we want to just learn something small, and we pray especially in the area where it, many people have been affected negatively uh, concerning uh, this uh, area. Hallelujah. Because many people have been affected. So we have to make sure that um, we deal with this issue to help as many that can um, also come to the place of uh, what you call it, um, liberty or healing. It also brings healing. So that is what we've all learned about. So as we said, research has shown that listening to music can reduce anxiety and also blood pressure and pain as, uh, uh, pain as well as we improve our sleep, mood, mental alertness, and also our memory. All these things are some of the things that music can do. And I want us to look at... Um, some areas, some of the things that music can do because music, as you can see, it also works as an altar. We've learned that wherever there's an altar and there's a sacrifice, it opens a portal, and through this portal, um, either a, a deity or spirit or whatever it is, either spirit of God or whatever that the thing is um, being, uh, what you call it, assigned to, will come. So people who want power or whatever, or um, what do you call it, erect um, altars and other things in order to have demonic visitation and uh, on the godly session or those who worship the Lord, like Abraham, wherever he went, he also built an altar and sacrificed unto the Lord so that 
the presence of God will be there and the gates will be open for his fruitfulness and success. And that is what he did anywhere that he went. And music can also do similar thing which many people have not come to understand. So I want us to look through some few scriptures to see what music or uh, worship or music, or all these things did in those times. I think most of us also can remember when Saul disobeyed God, King Saul of the Old Testament, when he, the Lord assigned him to do some certain things and he failed. The Bible says that the, a, a demonic spirit afflicted him and the Spirit of God left him. That's what happened. So when the Spirit of God left him, it's a demonic spirit that came and then afflicted him, tormented him. So in that kind of process, they saw that the antidote for him was that they have somebody who can play skillfully so that when the music is played, it will drive out the demon. And it happened that David, who was so much anointed by God, was the one that they found and then brought him to the palace. So anytime Saul, King Saul was being tormented, what happened was that um, he began to play the ministry. And you know that he was anointed. So whatever was coming out was backed by the power of God. So when the, when the instrument or the harp was played, those demons will leave and then Saul will be relieved from all those God he had the music and those spirits which were tormenting him also had it and they will disappear so that he will be free. And that was the area which David played from the beginning when he went to Saul's house. So we could see what music could do. It was a therapy for um, what you call Saul at that time. And I want to read also another area because music serves as a portal. It is like something that can open the, what is the spiritual realm for uh, spiritual activity to take place. Either demonic spirits manipulating or uh, the spirit of God or angels ascending and descending as we know. But many, many things can happen when these things, uh, when the right kind of music is played in an environment. Hallelujah. So from 2 Kings chapter 3, 15 to 18, it says that Bring now, uh, bring, uh, but now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, Thus says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink both ye and your cattle, and your beast. And this is but a lie thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the Moabite into your hands. We learn about Jehoshaphat who became a friend to Ahab in this time. And um, actually, God was not pleased about that kind of relationship. And when he asked him to help him in, to go to war against the Moabites, um, this man, because he walked with God, he knew that any time he wanted to do anything like uh, David, he would seek the face of the Lord first before he goes. But um, the other king, Ahab thought that he could do anything, so he just wanted to go. So they sought the right person or the, the, the prophet who could give direction. So in that course, when the, um, the prophet came, he told them, Elisha said that they should do what? Play the minstrel. That is the music. And what happened? He said that the hand of the Lord came upon the prophet at that time. And that means that the heavens were opened. It brought the presence of God into the, that environment, came upon the man of God. And he spoke what says the Lord. So solution was given to them. And assurance was given to them that they will not lose the war. And God was going to do a miracle. The water that was not there because they thought that uh, where they have gotten to, 
uh, they will be defeated by the enemy because there wouldn't be water for them and their cattle to drink in that warfare and they were going to be victims. But the Lord said that he was going to do something to save them. So it tells a light thing, as the prophet said, what happened? The music was played, a minstrel was played, and that brought the presence of God. And God ministered and gave direction at that time. So this is one point of um, uh, what you call godly music being played, which brings God's presence into an environment or a situation. We can also look at the warfare that, that was won by, uh, what do you call it, God's people, victory uh, in the warfare. If you read Chronicles, this same Jehoshaphat who was uh, attacked by about kings, uh, different kinds of kings, great nations, it was a great army. The um, King of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, all of them gathered together and then they came to attack. So when uh, Jehoshaphat heard that um, this is what was happening, in fact, there was fear all around, but he remembered his God. He proclaimed a fast. They prayed during the time of their fasting and prayer, his long prayer there was a response the prophet spoke that that battle was not their battle but it was god's own battle so they shouldn't fear at all what they were supposed to do was that they were going to enjoy the sport so what they did was that the direction was given instead of this king organizing an army with all kind of strategic means and um, weapons they took their instrument, organized this, Levi, the singers, and then they started to pray the name of the Lord. The Bible says that when they started to sing and praise the Lord, the Lord laid ambushment. When you read from 2 Chronicles 20, 22 to 24, it gives us a picture of what happened. And the Bible says that God they, uh, destroyed all of them. He caused them to fight against themselves that every person was slain. This one will fight against his own and a person or his neighbor, the people that have come together. That thing, instead of their uniting, it became something like a, a division where they fought against themselves and killed themselves because God himself laid ambushment and then caused that thing to happen to defeat them. For God has a way of defeating every enemy. But what happened? He says that God acted, started acting, or he came into the scene when they started to praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So when they started to pray, he says that, let me read the first part of it. Says, and when they began to sing and praise the Lord, and pray, the Lord set an ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were against Judah and they were smitten hallelujah what happened because of praise because of um singing that they sang um, godly song and then god intervened in that situation so we see the power of um music god godly music or gospel music as we can describe it to be which brought the presence of god down and we can also look at another example where Paul and Silas went to preach and cast out a demon from uh, a young lady who was being, uh, who was uh, possessed by a divination spirit and his people were making money out of that because he spoke about the future about people. So that's what was happening. And this lady was trying to interfere with the uh, Paul and Silas' um, presence in that city as they were preaching. Though what he was, she was saying was that they were righteous people who have come to proclaim the um, gospel message, but God did not need Satan to make that publicity at that time. Paul didn't like that idea, and then he cast out the demon from her. And so she could not make any form of divination again because she was being used by a demonic spirit. And when that thing happened, 
the honest God man because he knew that their future, their wealth, and other things that they were getting has ended. There was no way that they could make money out of the lady. So they were mad and then they reported the issue to the authorities. And the authority, what they lied about them, that they were causing confusion, teaching things that was not right, and all those things. And so the magistrate also tore his this thing closed, and then they were they caused them to be beaten and they put into the inner prison where there wouldn't be any means of escape. But the Bible says that Paul and Silas at midnight started to pray, and then after they have prayed, they sang. I knew that they praised the name of the Lord. They never complained that, Lord, we have um, preached your word and look at the bleedings that we have received and the suffering that we are going through, but they praised the name of the Lord. And as they did so, the Bible said that there was an earthquake that shook the grounds of the um, prison and every chain, every shackles was broken, the prison gates whatever it is was all open but the prisoners did not run and the jailer was even as free thought that there has been an escape of the prisoners so he wanted to kill himself to avoid any kind of uh, uh questioning and other things that he would be going through so paul said that he shouldn't harm himself they were all right intact and that is where we see the power of God in manifestation through um, worship song or through gospel music. Hallelujah. So Paul and Silas had their liberty when they prayed and then sang. So we see the power of music that brings the presence of God. So the reason is that Psalm 22, 3 says that, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel, hallelujah. He inhabits, he sits in that praise. So praise or worship songs bring the presence of God. It attracts him because that is place, the place that he normally abode. Because anytime that we create an atmosphere, because in heaven the Bible says that there are angels, elders and all who are worshiping him, they and the angels are singing and then praising the Lord uh, without ceasing. Because it's an atmosphere that he lives in. So when we create that atmosphere on earth, he comes in because Jesus taught us to pray that we should pray that God's kingdom will come and his will will be done. So for us to get God's presence, us in heaven, we have to learn to do what heaven is doing to maintain his presence there. Hallelujah. Because we have to understand it, uh, that God created the heavens and the earth. And there was a place that he, he was before creating it. Bible hasn't given us the name of the place yet. So God can choose to be out of heaven and can be in heaven. I don't want to us to get ourselves confused. So I will not get into this deep. Uh -huh. For most of us, we have all believed that the Lord is in heaven. So uh, he, he can, he, but the Bible says that heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. Hallelujah. There are a lot of teachings connected with this because I want you to reason yourself. God created heaven. When he was creating, he can't be some, inside something that he was creating. You have to understand if you are, uh, what you call a manufacturer doing something, you cannot be inside what you are doing. You are at a particular location and then making that thing. So God was in a different realm when he created the heavens and the earth. This is just by the way, hallelujah. So when uh, the, the Israel begin to pray, his presence comes. The Amplified say that, but you are holy. Oh, you who are, are enthroned in the play, in the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered, hallelujah. So when we begin to offer praise unto the Lord, his presence comes. He comes to dwell in. And you know, when he comes to dwell in, the Bible makes us understand that his presence alone caused mountains to skip like rams. Hallelujah. 
So evil powers and presence cannot stay in that environment. That is why most of the time in deliverance sessions, when worship and other things are being done, demons are not able to stand it. And they will have to leave when things become very, very tough. Hallelujah. So God dwells in the praises of his people. So when we learn to sing praises, we are, the Bible says we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we have to be praising God and also praying at the same time because our body is a temple for the Spirit of God. And we have, I have to praise the Lord because um, in the temple, what the Levites also do is to sing worship songs to praise the name of the Lord. David uh, prepared a place where Levites who worship God 24 hours, and that is a place that is named Zion. Hallelujah. So we can see how God comes in to dwell when his people begin to sing or worship or bless his name in that kind of environment. Hallelujah. So this is the positive side of music, which I might put it like gospel music, anointed music, because the Bible encourages us also to sing psalms and praises to encourage ourselves hallelujah and then let's look at the other part the opposite side the use of music by satan in idol worship we know that the bible makes us understand that he was created with music so instrument that that thing was inside him he, he had an inbuilt system which was uh, the system of music and he was a being who was so beautiful, created with all kinds of jewelries and other things, according to the, the, the word of God. But I would just want us to look at some few things where uh, the other side of the world, the dark kingdom, also uses um, music, chantings, and other things in their worship to invoke demons, to bring satanic presence or demonic presence into a particular environment or atmosphere hallelujah and later we will also look at the effect which many people have uh, are encountering problems even up to today so when we read from a revelation 18 21 and 22 it gives us an idea of what the kingdom of darkness are doing it says that uh, therefore at that time when all the people <coughs> sorry I, I'm, I'm reading a different uh this is not together this place talks about um what do you call it um daniel i'm i'm reading a place from daniel sorry this is first of all let me read daniel and then later i'll read revelation daniel 3 7 it says that therefore at that time when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the, lang and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. We all learn about the story when Daniel and his friends and uh, the children of Israel were captured in and sent to Babylon. And then during the reign of the book of Nether, he set up a golden image and said that everybody should worship it. So they were using music to do that. So he said that anytime they heard the flute, the harp, sackboard, and all those kind of music being played, they all should do a bow and then worship that image. So that is what happened. But thank God, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not bow to that image. Meanwhile, there were a lot of Jewish people who were present, but for fear of their lives and all those kind of stuff, maybe persecution and the punishment that they proclaimed that whoever does not worship will put into fire, all of them have to bow, except Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who said that they wouldn't bow and thank God, God saved them from that fight because they were dedicated to God. They knew that bowing to that image was sin. So they were the only people who stood as really believers uh, on that time, which we can say that they were the people, if it were to be our day, we will say that they were only faithful disciples 
who were able to stand and they reject the king's order. So when we also read up, uh, something about Revelation 18, 21 to 22, which I, I mentioned before, it also gives us some kind of idea. He says that, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great missile and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all indeed. And no craftsman of whosoever crafts he be shall be found any more indeed. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all indeed. So we see that judgment was coming upon Babylon. We know that this was a place that everybody was supposed to bow and worship a golden image. And music was what preceded that kind of worship. So the same thing that Revelation, something that is yet to come, because the Babylon that is talking about here is not that Babylon, old Babylon, that symbolically is talking about a place where they were going to operate and do everything in similitude as the thing what happened in Babylon. Because the old Babylonian empire was around Iraq area there. But when, what he's talking about is going to be a different thing where activities that happen is going to take place similar in a similitude. This is another study that we will not um, bother ourselves going into because of time because we want to exhort ourselves to pray. Hallelujah. So there's something that is going to take place. So this is where we come into seeing what secular music as a demonic portal because this is a this kind of music that is talking about talks about worldly music that most of us normally uh, put it which i would say is secular music so this music uh, tend to be about idol it's all about idol worship self love sex drug power and money the lyrics glorify sorcery witchcraft violence revenge suicide death and even satan so all this kind of worldly music is done to honor lucifer or satan and many people are not aware they only listen to the rhythm and they will be they will dance to the tune and many people are have been trapped into such kind of music in our day so this is the area that we have to see that anytime we open up to this kind of music it is a portal that opens door for demonic activities hallelujah so music sound and chanting are used also in new age and other spiritual healing therapies meditations and rituals some involve bells bows and dances to worship uh, the dead even various gods so we have to know that all these are a kind of thing that is done so we have a godly music which we pray uh, songs that are anointed that are released we sing to glorify the name of the lord to bring his presence down even in our worship services sometime before the message will come or something we will sing and praise the name of the lord and you can see when the presence of god comes the joy and the peace uh, that takes place. sometimes people even receive healings and other things through those songs or then through that atmosphere because god comes into that environment the same thing that when this secular music or demonic music is being played it brings those kind of demonic spirit in places those uh, false churches and uh, occult and all those they have their own kind of music that they normally play or chant for the uh, demonic spirit to come all these things are there that we have to take note of. So we want to look at this, uh, what do you call them? They are effect, the source. And we all know that Lucifer or Satan, he is the source of this uh, uh, secular or worldly music or demonic music. Because as I said before from Ezekiel, we were made to know that he was, that kind of quality was built in him. 
So music is part of him. He had that skill. But when he fell, everything got corrupted. So he brings out music either to uh, exalt himself or glorify him or something other else. And he uses it as, as, as a gateway to invade people's life. And it's also as a weapon to destroy life because he came to steal, kill, and to destroy. So what happened is that he is the source and he has empowered people who also sing worldly music or worldly songs uh, to honor him or to do other evil things on the earth. And many people have not understood, they have not known that this circular uh, worldly music also opens the door for demonic activities. It's not only worshiping, bowing to idols and other things that bring demons, but all these circular songs, because we don't know who is behind or who sang that song, the type of life he's living, the kind of God he serves. Many people have not come to the realization that this, most of these top stars are all people who belong to the occult or this secret society. So when they compose their music, this music are dedicated to demons before they come out. There are some um, music, those days that we were using this and other things. And there were some other things that people implemented and then they played that um, disc in the reverse form. And most of it, it played a different rhythm, which were all blasphemy and curses against God. But people played and danced without knowing what they are dancing all about. So when you hear all kinds of music, being played here and there and other things. Let us not, not, let's not um, just begin to dance to the tune because it has some nice rest rhythms. Sometimes we have to let know what they are saying through it. But the, the main advice is that we don't have to get ourselves connected with this worldly music. We don't have to play it in our homes. We don't have to um, get ourselves connected with it at all. Because some people think that, oh, this one is just music. And the moment they begin to play in their homes, because it's demonically uh, infected or dedicated to demons, the demons come into that home. It is a portal. It opens the door for demons to enter. That is why people have problems in their marriages, problems with their children, because innocent children who, the, who do not know anything and they stay in that environment. Demons enter them, but by the time you realize, they will begin to develop some strange characters, strange behaviors, and do some certain things that you might not even understand. You begin to think, but where did my child learn all these things? But you might not know that you are the one who opened that door for the person, for him to come, uh, for, for, for that uh, demon to manipulate your child. Because that environment has been opened a portal where there are demonic activities taking place. So anything that they can lay hands on because they have come to steal, kill, and to destroy. So when these such doors are open, they come in and they destroy. Hallelujah. I, I, I came in contact with a person who was a deacon in a church. And I was surprised to hear when he was telling me that um, in fact he loved reggae music and he used this... Um, but Mali's music to do meditate, meditation. I say, wow, this is really strange. And many people are deceived in the same way that any music that they hear, especially when they hear scriptures being mentioned in those songs, they think that it is gospel and they begin to play it. This same music by Bob Mali, the late Bob Mali, uh, there was a, another person that I came across. Anytime that he hears that, um, music being played, something ignite inside him and he feels to smoke this weed and other things. So it was somebody who was just involved secretly doing. So the moment he hears those um, songs being played, he says that he wants to be high. So he will go and take something and then um, take it and then what he becomes high, as he said, with all his eyes red and other things. So you see that when the music is played, something inside the music manipulates him. So you see, if you can interview many people who have got themselves involved 
in smoking and getting themselves addicted to all kinds of drugs. Most of them loved the music of Bob Marley. He also had some agenda which he was doing. Uh, he, he, he was assigned to, and many people did not understand. But hearing from these people made me also understand that what they were listening was not ordinary music. They were listening and inviting spirits of addiction and other things to manipulate their soul or to manipulate them. We know that it's the soul where decisions are made. Every act of the body, that decision comes from the soul. So people's behaviors and the characters are all manipulated by these demons. That is why people become sometimes violent and all that kind of thing. Sometimes a spirit of immorality enters people because of these worldly songs. And the person become um, addicted to uh, immoral behaviors and activities, becoming a womanizer or all those kind of things happen because of what this kind of worldly music. But people are not, um, what do you call it, conscious about the effect and other things that it does. Satan does not give any good thing to anyone. He comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. So many people who are these top stars and singing all these kind of songs, sometimes the words are connected with love, with um, death, and all those, those kind of things. But people haven't realized it. Some people listen to such music, and then the spirit of, um, what do you call it, um, depression affects them. They become depressed. Some people receive some kind of gloominess in them because of some songs that they, they hear. They try to isolate themselves. People become, uh, the spirit of anger enters them. Some people become violent because of what they have heard. I learned about, um, a deliver minister spoke about an issue that took place in um, one of the countries where young people came out from a discotheque and then they started smashing the windows of people houses and other things and then when they were arrested by the police and they were questioned they could not give any meaning the reason why they were doing this they said that they can't understand but they were coming from a discotheque and they, when they went there what was happening they were listening to rock music and all those kind of things so after they finished they didn't know what came on them and they started smashing people's window in the street anywhere that they go they took off and they started causing commotion and you could see the effect of this secular music. Whatever that music carries, it's only God who knew. And we look at the damage that they cause in the society. Instead of people becoming useful and bless the society, they rather started causing um, damages in, 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 in people's life, smashing windows, destroying things because of music that they had. Some people will hear some kind of music and the spirit of immorality will enter them and they begin to feel for sex and all those kind of things. For so example, when you begin to hear some songs like sexual healing and all this by Marvin Gaye and all those, you see that something in the bed is something inside the music begin to move that particular individual. And by the end of the music or whatever it is, that spirit will motivate the person to go and do evil, do something that is contrary to the word of God. These things that we are discussing are things that are true. If you can ask some people about how some certain things happen, they will not understand. So music can cause people to be violent. Some music can cause some people to take revenge against maybe things that have passed. Some music can cause some people even to have this kind of um, suicidal tendencies that they want to kill themselves because of songs that they, they, they have heard. Because the music carries some certain kind of um, impact. And especially those days that we used to watch some movies and other things on the telly. One of the things that I realized was that sometimes uh, when the, the, what do you call them, something is going to happen in the movie. They have some kind of sounds that they play. And the way the, the sound will be playing, you are not inside the movie, but you who is watching, you see that your heart will be beating. Something will be moving you. Either it's fear or 
it was some I don't know how to describe it, and I saw that no, this one is not ordinary. That you'll be sitting behind a movie, and then because of the sound that is coming, and then it, it, it will begin to bring fear. And especially there are all we have different kinds of sound. Some sounds can bring sorrow to you. It is something that is transmitted because there are demonic spirit behind these things. So when you're not aware and you begin to listen to secular music, because maybe you heard that oh, the person quoted maybe some 23 or something inside. So you will get that music and begin to play it in your house. Be very careful because uh, Satan can quote scriptures. When you tempted Jesus, he quoted scriptures. So many people who want um, their music to be sold out, even to be bought by believers, they will use some kind of thing and quote some scriptures. And believers who are not um, discern, they are not able to discern what it is, will also um, just uh, compromise, get this song because they say this one is gospel because we heard um, some so and so inside and all those and so. By the time they know, Satan will use it as a gateway into their spirit or into their soul to manipulate them or into their homes. Because every environment where these music are played attract demonic spirits. This is what we have to understand. So this music promotes unhealthy ideas and mindsets, sexual perversion, violence, and general ungodliness. So we have to keep away from music. And it's so strange that even in our some of the churches today, in our in, in our generation, you see. That people having programs and other things instead of playing God, godly music, gospel music, people play worldly music and they begin to dance. People who are called believers. Sometimes you can even see ministers of God being part of it and not even saying anything. And uh, this is where we need to put in a demarcation where we stand, whether we are standing for the Lord or we are standing for the devil. Because if issues of this are not addressed, people will have problems because they think that the music is ordinary music. So playing it doesn't do anything. But they are backed by demonic spirit. And after, people begin to experience all kinds of things in their lives. So some of the effects is that demons are released into the person's soul. Strongholds that we talk about, some of these also come from music, apart from false doctrines and other things. Some of them come from this worldly or secular music. They can cause depression, they can bring infirmity, and all those kind of things. They can also cause premature death. They can bring grief. Spirit of grief can be released into a person through the songs that they listen to. Sometimes spirit of immorality, as I said before, comes into a person. The same songs can bring demonic addiction to people. People will be addicted to all kinds of things, drugs and other things, due to the kind of music they are listening. Something will drive them. They will be doing something unconsciously without knowing that they are doing it, but they are being driven by demonic spirit that because they open their soul to listening to these songs because our, uh, our senses, our eyes, our ears, and all these things are gateway to the soul. So some of the things that we watch, something that we hear, enters our mind. That is what uh, sometimes affect our character. Some people become proud, arrogant, and all these things through all this gospel, sorry, uh, secular music. People become violent. They join uh, all kinds of... Um, gang and do all kinds of wrong things. Anger fills people. Some of the people who also commit suicide, some of them come do this out of some kind of songs that they listen to. And then that sort of suicide will enter them. Some people also murder. The, the sort of murder will enter them and they begin to do evil. Another thing that happens is also the sort of fear. So there are some music that carry fear. So as people begin to listen or even play it in their homes, fear, that spot of fear comes to settle in there. And spirit has to go, you can't see them physically. They can operate and manipulate, affect people's lives negatively. 
because of this kind of uh, um, wrong music, as I can put it. Sometimes people inherit curses through this music because you don't know what has been invoked into that song that you are playing. The moment you begin to play in your home, you will bring curse into your house. And things can affect you, your finances, your marriage, your children. And many, many things happen and you might not know why they are happening. But it's because of a, a, a worldly or secular music that you are playing in your home. Because you don't know the spirit that it was dedicated to. And all these things, because they want money, they want to be popular, they dedicate this music to demons. So as the, the songs are being played, demonic spirits begin to move in the atmosphere, move people to love it, move people to sing it, and all those kind of things. And the, the, it's, it's um, being played. Open the gateway for these demons to be present and begin to act, to do whatever they want to do. So as believers or children of God, we have to be conscious about all these things and then follow the biblical patterns so that we will do what God wants us to do and not do anything to glorify Satan. Hallelujah. People develop wrong character, wrong behaviors because of all kinds of music that they listen to. So we have to be very, very, very careful with the kind of music we hear and the kind of music we play in our programs or in our functions and activities because we, we invite the, 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 the devil that we are praying them out into the, our, the environment or into whatever thing we are doing. And as we do so, who, who suffers? It is you who played and invited that spirit are going to go through this um, kind of problem. So let us be careful because Satan can use anything at all, anything as a point of contact. And the Bible even said that um, the children of Israel, when they get to the land, anything connected with those people living there, they should destroy. They shouldn't partake of whatever they are doing. And so the same thing that we don't have to partake of the things that the world is doing. So the word of God also admonishes us in a lot of areas in the Bible concerning all these things that we do, the one that we don't have to associate ourselves or get ourselves involved in and the, what the things that we also have to do. Hallelujah. So when we look at 1 John 1 15, which um, um, most of us, uh, most of us, uh, sorry, 1 John uh, 2 15, which most of us know, say that love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So it is a worldly music. They are, they are composed and played by the world. And the Bible says that we don't have to love the world. We don't have to do the things that you do or the things that are in. He said, anyone who loves the world, is the love of the Father is not in him. So we have to take note of this so that any kind of practices that the world is going or in that direction, we have to take the direction which the Holy Spirit directs us and not follow their way. Because God is not interested or God will not work with us when we begin to walk in the ways of the law or the world. Hallelujah. And Romans 12, 2 also says that, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. God expects us to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, that we are, are able, uh, what do you call it, um, things that are of the world, they are systems and other things, by taking in the word of God to replace those kind of old systems when as we have been born again, because of the fallen nature, God is working in us. So for us to be able to, um, what do you call it, um, do away with the things, the activities of the fallen nature, we have to have a renewal of our minds by taking in the word of God and being conformed to the things of the word of God and not to the things that the world people, the worldly people are doing 
for many people are attracted and they feel comfortable moving and doing things that the worldly people are doing. And many people can give you the skills that uh, Christianity is in the heart and activities around the uh, outside does not matter. But people don't understand that the Bible says that we should work out our salvation with trembling and fear. He says the, the next uh, scripture tells us that God worketh in us both to will and to do. And anything that is abundant or overflow within will also manifest out. The Bible says that we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. When the salt loses it its savor, it is good for nothing. So you can lose your savor by um, compromising with the things of the world and doing the same. So when you are doing it, the worldly person sees no difference between you and them. Then they will say, "Oh, you are say you are a child of God. You are doing it. We are all sin, and that is where we are not able to matter in this life because we have um, compromised with the things that they are doing. But God wants us to stand out. We have to influence the system so that they will change to follow the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. So if we also look at them." Um, Ephesians 5, verses 11, it also encourages us. It says that, uh, have no fellowship with the fruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So if the worldly people are doing things that are wrong, he says that we should not have fellowship with them. We don't have to say that, oh, this one is just this and that, give an excuse that Christianity is in the heart, so you will compromise. He says that you have to reprove them. And he says that don't have fellowship with us. So, any kind of music that are not of God. The Bible says that we don't have to be partakers of it. We don't have to uh, be part of such system. So it is very, very important. But what Colossians 3.16 tells us that it says that let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonition one another in Psalms, and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. So our songs and our praise, which we have to be said that the word of God should dwell richly in us. Because a person who doesn't have God's word dwelling in him richly will be attracted with the system and the things of the world and will compromise. But anyone who has God's word and grafted in him, uh, richly in wisdom, he will be singing he, um, psalms and hymns and spiritual songs when, with grace in his heart unto the Lord, because as you sing, you sing unto the Lord. The Bible says that in whatsoever we do, in word or deed, he said that we have to do it in the name of the Lord. We have to bring glory to the Lord. That worldly music that you are singing, I, does it please God? Is God happy with that song? Does it glorify God? Hallelujah. And the same thing that we see that people who are anointed by the Lord, when they sing, simple song, it, you, it will move you to worship God. It will move you to begin to praise God, to do something. And you see that these are the songs that God is expecting. And those songs that will pull us down. So we have to understand, not only entertaining ourselves with it, but it can bring damage to them person spiritually it brings him down and satan knows what he's doing and many people are falling into self deception and they are playing or listening to this secular music and all those things in their functions in their parties and all those things these are the songs that they play whilst we have a lot of gospel music gospel songs that can be played but rather the worldly ones the reason why we could see that the, so most of the songs that the Wesley brothers wrote, they are so, so powerful today that when you sing it, you can feel the impact because they are songs that were from above. They are not songs, normal secular uh, songs. For many years, these songs are so powerful. And these are songs that we have to encourage ourselves with. So if there are sometimes... There are some challenges that you are going through and you cannot find a source. You also have to trace your way out, begin to see 
if you've been enjoying secular music or you are playing them in your house and all those things, they can bring depression, they can bring suicidal thoughts, they can bring all kinds of things because demons back them. And as you enjoy them, you open your, your, your soul for them to come in. And when demons come, the Bible says that they have come to steal, fail, and to destroy. They have not come to entertain you, but they have come to destroy that, that individual. So you know, if you have done that, or maybe you have not realized it, as we are going to pray, I want you to begin to pray and ask God for mercy and forgiveness for even um, getting yourself involved in um, listening and dancing to the team of this worldly music many people do not know the effect i have ministered to somebody who went to dance a cultural dance and after the cultural dance she got possessed by marine spirits and when she gets angry it takes about a week for that thing to calm down and when it happens she does not talk to anybody because of just dancing to tune of traditional dancing something. And you might not know the effect, the thing that happened before she got a deliverance. Many people are in such similar situations. Many people. And people have been healed after they repented of this worldly music who have had grief, and what do you call it? Um, the sort of grief and uh, depression and other things. By listening to such music, that's what depresses them of their past and different, different, different things. So Satan has not come to give you any good or to give you something means in your spirit or soul, but has come to destroy you. But when you sing songs of praise unto the Lord our God, sometimes your healing, your breakthrough will even come through those songs that you sing because as you sing gospel or godly music, the Bible says that the Lord dwells in the praises of Israel. We are the spiritual Israelites today. As you worship the Lord and bless his name, in spirit and in truth, his presence comes. If it is in your home, that kind of music that you are playing, it comes in the midst of it. In my bedroom, I always have a song playing continuously, worship songs. So sometimes when I enter the bedroom, because of the song that is playing, I begin to, be, I begin to catch up and I want to pray. Well, I want to worship. You know, the atmosphere is always charged. And that is what we need to do to make sure our environment is charged with true gospel anointed music songs so that they will motivate us to bless the name of the Lord, to worship God. So if we have gone other way and playing worldly music or we have enjoyed them without knowing that some of our problems have been that good, as we pray, I want you to ask God to forgive you, ask for his mercies, and ask the touch of the Lord. Many people are going to receive their deliverance today as we pray, because that has been a gateway, a portal that the enemy has taken to invade their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We release the blood of Jesus against any spiritual arrows. I can see that the enemy has launched arrows against many. Makatu Satila Kara Dandarabu on the Suta. Ajeli Kariya do Santa. No weapon form against your people, against us will prosper. Any man that stands against us in judgment will condemn. In the mighty name of Jesus. I shata karabalo do broso kompoto. Azikabaya, I want you to pray and ask for the message of God. Ask that the Lord forgives you for getting yourself involved in. Um, part participating or enjoying and playing worldly music because there are demons that have been released through it and they are going to leave you right now. Hakabo Satelia Karadaka begin to pray. Ask God for his mercy. Abale Tarakarobasun Tabiriatus. Makatoske Krado Sampratiatus. Mashakatakaya Tardoria Bolishandaya. Ekatoria Kabe Saita Maikasun Tarianduru. People's behaviors and characters are going to change because the demons behind them came through um, this uh, secular music, Cape Randa Santa, and their visitation to this entertainment ground. Sometimes it could be the cinema halls 
where worldly things are activities are taking place. A shita li karadar mondo suta kabrali na suta me kata sin tali darakade aswante aje tuari abakana santa ya in the mighty name of Jesus. I shandeli karadar koroma shanta ya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Rambe kata ya tali tori ya Father visit your people. Rande kata sin tali loria. In Jesus' name, I want us to pray this prayer right now. I break into pieces every demonic stronghold against my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Any demonic stronghold against your life through your mind, begin to break it and command us with up any kind of spirit. Because even from different kinds of spirit can enter a person as he listening to such worldly or secular music because those music has their own agenda begin to pray and cast those demons out break that stronghold in your mind rado kapili taria kumbasuta mende katusa pili tarikadoria by the power of the holy ghost and by the blood of jesus we break every power every bondage in the name of jesus any stronghold we demolish them we break them into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I shake at a caridar toria broca basintoria. Jacata cata city cata toria brunda canamushai to briantu. Jacata sunta litra coria branda canasuta. Make case that durian and buria bracadrobo de chantria. Zacata cassiti contoria and buria brabadrobadrobadroba santaria. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for somebody. The problem with you might not even be the song, but I can see a monument that is built on a, it's like a, a road. There's a monument on a roundabout. And that thing that is there is something demonic. It has been placed there. That is what is causing problems. And the, as people passes by, there's a release of these um, uh, forces that causes problems in people like sometimes accident i can see strange things coming out of that monument in the mighty name of jesus anyone that has been affected by that kind of strange monument around them that kind of run about i don't know where it is but i can see it that it is like something on the, in the middle of a road masita kayanda i declare your power broken and destroyed you cannot take lives in the name of Jesus. You cannot take blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Any sacrifice, whatever was planted under that monument, we declare its power destroyed in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare release and breakthrough for your people. We release them from the hand of the evil one in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. I can see the fire of God struck that monument in the realms of the spirit. I see the fire of God from heaven destroyed. It's being released. That thing has catch fire right now. In the name of Jesus, whoever has been in bondage by it, I decree and declare your release and freedom. In the name of Jesus, Eshakabarata. Ancient of this, we thank you. Shandeli Karadaramolo Shinto Kuria. Zeke tapate kondori branda kanda suta. Reke patari darkori branda kanda suta mahaida. In Jesus' name. I want us to pray this prayer because sometimes these songs bring depression. They bring diseases. They bring all kinds of infirmity to some people without even realizing that the root of the problem was through a song. Pray this prayer. Every disease and affliction. I have brought into my life through secular music. I command them to leave me now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare my healing and freedom in Jesus' name. Begin to pray. We decree judgment against every spirit of grief, every spirit of depression, diabetes, every form of disease that the enemy has brought in through. This circular music, we declare that power broken. We declare freedom for your people. We declare them healed by the stripes of Jesus. 
Masi tatili ta kumasu. Rabakata sinti kalidar lori abrande komosuta. Le kada sunta mari da kaya. We declare freedom, freedom, freedom. We plead the blood of Jesus over the minds of your people, over the ears of your people. Any gateway that was open, we shut this gateway. We shut it down that there will not be any entry of any contrary spirit. We pull down strongholds that have been built in the minds of those that have been listening to this secular music. We cast down these strongholds in the mighty name of Jesus. Ashata kaya tali deliko ramashindi yataya. Mezita kaya tari tori abranda kantasuta. Le kado zabe la tori amanda kansantaya. There is healing taking place in somebody's body, as I can see. I can see something like a saw at the back of the person's buttocks. There is a saw that I rebuke that kind of infirmity. Whatever means it came, I declare you healed by the stripes of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shakata kaya taratoria karabosanta, leka tu santoria karabosanta ya. I'm praying for some children who have been affected by this um, hovering spirit through this uh, circular music. I can see some people kneel down before a table, some children. Father, I lift these children before you. Your word declared that the kingdom belongs to them because they have been exposed to this presence of these demons. We pray for mercy. And you said that, Lord, that the lawful captives can, shall be free. According to your word, we pray and break every power of influence of demonic spirit over these children. We break that power. We set them free from wrong behaviors and characters. In the name of Jesus, we declare them free from every form of bondage. Their minds we command every stronghold to be cast out and down in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare their freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. I shatakata sita tatori abratu sakaya in the name of Jesus. Saladori ambakasaita e bakasu imbrakanta. I want to pray for somebody. I can see something like an arrow of uh, shame and reproach being released against you. Father, we pray. Let every arrow of shame and reproach backfire to its sender. In the name of Jesus, you have said, O oh God, from your word, that you will restore the years, and we, we will eat in plenty, and we will not be ashamed. Any kind of programming of shame, of reproach, we command you to go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, I release honor for your people. In the name of Jesus, Sheta Kalidara dos Makaya, Mende Kasuta Paria Tarkori Amrasuta, Jeke Tikata Kasunta Piri Tartoria. In the name of Jesus, I'm receiving some ministration and seeing something that somebody, you, you, you are not able to concentrate in your learning because a demonic spirit has been sent through this song into the book and i can see them standing in the middle of the book so as you read as you study you cannot concentrate you cannot receive anything from that particular book because of demonic spirit that has entered that book through this circular music we pray right now as i release the blood of jesus and the fire of god against this demonic spirit i pray that the, the home that has been opened as a portal for demonic presence, be shut from them. That gates be closed. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we expel these demons and I expel them from your life. In the name of Jesus, that from today, as you read or as you study the Bible, you get revelation. As you study or learn, you receive what you are learning, that your mind will be open to receive. Anything that has affected your mind will come against it in the name of Jesus. We declare that your mind be restored and healed in Jesus' mighty name. Mataku Sataria, Rabosta Pita Bilitoria Abrunda Sulta, Ebakatai Sintaria, in the name of Jesus. Father, we cast down stronghold. We cast them down. Anything that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ that has been set up or built in the minds of your people to manipulate their character manipulate their destiny, manipulate their life. 
we cast it down in the name of Jesus to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus. I shatakaya taitar kori abrashantaya. In kayasuta. Ekaturia branda kantasitus. I'm seen from the realms of the spirit. A young lady. But I can see an arrow fired against your left breast. Marakuta sintaya. By the power of the blood of Jesus. I come against this arrow. That this arrow backfire. Any kind of infirmity that has been released into your breast. I command it to backfire to its sender. If it is anything like cancer, if anything like a lump, I command it to backfire. And I declare you healed. Rabakusa Tilamanda Luriyama Santa. Anything complex that the enemy wants to invest your life or your 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 your, your, your health with, we I come against it with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare you free. I declare you healed in the name of Jesus. Any evil transfer of any spirit of infirmity, we break its power and cast it out from you in the name of Jesus. Santa. We break any spirit of suicidal tendencies in the minds of your people. In the name of Jesus, any form of bondage in the mind, we break its power. We declare a release for your people right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy every arrow of this depression in the minds of your people. I break its power. In the name of Jesus, I release freedom. I break every spirit of fear. Marakatusa taya, mekatusa, you spirit of fear, fear and death. We expel you from the minds of God's people. We expel you from the homes of people through this evil circular music. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rande katasilia. Rabakata kasinteli karadare korobo shinde kaito saya. Ade kaboria branda kontosu tuka brianta. Mekata wherever you are, I want you to lay your right hand over your head. Begin to pray and cast down any kind of arrow, anything that the enemy as plays uh, over your head, uh, I want you over your mind, I want you to command it out. Uh, Father, we pray as we command every form of stronghold, we command fear to come out, uh, we command depression to come out uh, in the name of Jesus. We command every form of infirmity, every form of um, pro programming of the enemy against the mind, we destroy it. Uh, Anything affecting the character and behavior of your people, we declare it destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We pray that the heavens be open over your people to receive your blessing. I pray, grant them a renewed mind. That Lord, the attraction and everything will be you alone. That the song that they will sing in their homes in their environment, will be song that will bring you glory. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We thank you so much, O oh Lord. We worship your majesty, Father. Father, I pray against every arrow that has been fired against somebody's heart of blood uh, issue, having blood issue, I command total healing in the name of Jesus. Let there be normal flow of blood in the person's system. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satan, your weapon of infirmity is broken. In the name of Jesus, not of death, we declare your power broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release healing unto your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Bring total restoration to your people. Bring your people closer unto you. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask that you receive glory. Whatever your people lost because of uh, this uh, uh, presence of this demonic spirit, we pray. As this demon has been cast out, I pray that your people will be restored. Grant your people faith and boldness, your humbleness of heart to love and to save you. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
bless their home, bless their children, make them great, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Shatali Karadora Masunta, Lekoto Prota Branda Kanta Sikayata, Jita Prande Karidar Korea Brahma Badrama Shantayusa, in Jesus' name, Shekata Paratoria. I cancel any programming of death. I cancel, I cancel, I cancel the blood of Jesus. And I speak life for whoever is connected to in the name of Jesus. You will not die before your time, but you live to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. Father, we thank you and we bless you for visiting your people in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we want to encourage every uh, viewer today that uh, let us encourage ourselves that we will not uh, get ourselves uh, involved or to be listening to this secular music because their source might be polluted and evil, which can interfere with our Christian life and also our destiny and our purposes. Let us let uh, pray and then sing songs that are from the lord that will bring his presence to our lives to our family to our home our environment and we will see the glory of the lord when the presence of the lord is there the bible says in his presence there's liberty when he comes to your home everything will be in place hallelujah so let us serve god in the rightful manner let us love him and do what it pleases. Let us not take chances. Satan uh, wouldn't um, give any room for anybody. Any inch that you give, he will take a yard from you. Hallelujah. If you are hearing me today and you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior, you will see that all your desires and everything will crave for worldly music. Anything can entertain you. But when you are spirit-filled, when you are born again, your desires will be songs that will lift you and bring glory to the Lord. So if some things are not in place and you are heard today, I know that the Lord is able to do more than you can think or ask. Hallelujah. Therefore, as you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, He's going to touch you, He's going to transform you, and He's going to um bring good things into your life you are going to see a new person in your life and there's going to be restoration i want you to pray this prayer with me and the lord will intervene in your situation pray this prayer father in the name of jesus i thank you for where that has come i believe that jesus christ is your your son who came to die for sinners Today, I open my heart to receive him as my Lord and my personal Savior. I declare with my mouth that he is my Lord and Savior. I ask, O oh Lord, to help me to love you and to save you from today in the rest of my life. Thank you for saving me. I declare that I'm born again. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray for these ones. I ask for a touch over their lives. I pray that you preserve them, give them insight and understanding in your word. Bless them. Keep them in the faith, help them to grow in you, to become disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the time you come, Father, keep them in the faith. Thank you for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, the word of God declares that you are saved, you are a new creation, all things are passed away, all things are becoming, you are starting a new life in the Lord. And for you to grow, you need to... Um, Feed on the word of God. And the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Therefore, get a Bible. If you don't have one, you can also download one on your phone from the internet. 
and you begin to read, and the Lord will help you. That's not understanding. And he will feed you, and you can go through it. The next thing is prayer. It's never important. You engage yourself in prayer. As you talk to God in prayer, the Lord will hear you. And also you will be empowered through prayer so that you will be able to overcome every adversary of your life. And the next thing is also fellowship, which is also very, very important. Connect yourself to the good Bible believing church where uh, you will be nourished with the word of God and then you will be helped to be discipled. We also want to encourage you as you go on our website, the address is on the screen. Um, there, there's an opportunity for you to uh, enroll so that we send information to be able to disciple you, to be able to live the expected life that the Lord is requiring. There are also materials over there that can be helpful to you as you read them. So get, take this uh, opportunity, go there and then get some materials for your growth and also connect with us and we can assist you. You can also be registered and to be part of LifeGate Church Member Online. Thank you so much for being part of today's prayer. I pray that the Lord will visit you, visit your household. Anything that has gone wrong, we pray that it will be corrected by the Lord in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the presence of God will be in your home, in your life as an individual. And I pray that whatever has been stolen or anything that the enemy um, took from your life be restored in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and strengthen and keep you. The Lord give you peace. I pray that the coming week will be a glorious week for you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that as you fellowship tomorrow on Sunday, there, there, there be a divine visitation that God manifests himself and glory to you. Thank you so much for being part of this Breakthrough Prayer Conference. I want you to share this um, prayer time or what we have shared. For many people have become victims without knowing. Even their children become victims because of what they have um, and, uh, uh, opened the door for these demons to come into this secular music. Share with them so that they will have an understanding and also hold on to the faith as real disciples of the Lord. Hallelujah. So share it, share it in your pages, in your groups, and also share it to your loved ones so that they can all have a good understanding on the difference between the gospel music and the secular music, its effect, and the thing that it does. Thank you so much for being part of the Breakthrough Prayer Conference. See you by the grace of God next week, same day, same time. Thank you, and God will bless you. Have a wonderful evening, wherever you are, according to the time, whether morning or whatever. Have a good time with the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Bye-bye.